Oh my god, it's election day. I I gotta get up and vote. I don't wanna miss this opportunity. Not. Who cares about voting? I do. Who are you? Son, I'm Bill Clinton. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there, there she is. Bill Clinton, why are you in my room? That doesn't matter. What do you mean voting doesn't matter? Well, I just think it's tedious, you know? Come on, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Look around you, what do you see? I don't know, a bunch of houses? Wrong! I see a bunch of registered voters. It was LBJ who said, the vote is the most powerful instrument ever devised by man. I mean, look, look, I get it. Fight the power and everything, but I just don't think it's that deep. Let me introduce you to an expert. Straight out of Compton, Yo, 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 this is C-Pop. There's a long who should be on American voting. What do you mean, like, didn't every American have it already? Nah, bro. The 14th gave natural born citizens the right to vote. The 15th gave the freed slaves the right to vote. The 24th got rid of the poll taxes. Okay, I get it. It's like, it's progressive and all, but why does that matter to me? Like, why is it important to me? Bro, let's keep on going. So, why is it important to me? It's important because you can decide. Your representative is only effective when you have a say in the vote. So you can honor those who fought for that vote. A vote for a representative that aligns with your views means more funds and more support for things that you care about. And prove all those people who think young ones are lazy wrong. Exercise your vote. You see, son. What the hell is that? What is what? Oh, that right there? Uh, that would be a land shark. That there would be a land shark. Now, let's talk about representative democracy. This is your representative now. Now, you can't make political decisions yourself, but you can elect someone who can make those decisions for you. Now, CPOP is up for election. Do you want to cast your vote for him? Sure. Congratulations, CPOP's been elected by a margin of one vote. Now, I propose to control this land shark crisis, the Land Shark Regulation Act. What say you, CPOP? Uh. It's I, CPOP, but we get the gist. Now that the bill is passed, you can see the effects of the regulation and your vote. <laughs> okay, I get it, but everyone else can vote, so I don't need to. What if everyone thought like you? Then no one would be voting. Who didn't have any elected representatives, bro? Shit, go. You know, in the last election, it was the lowest voter turnout in recent history. Barely more than half of the voting eligible population participated. Estimates vary, but it's at about 55%. That's way too low for a safe democracy and a strong one that we need to be. Wasn't your wife running? That does Do you know what democracy is? Of course I do. I'm in Miss Dean's AP Gov class. Then you should know that a low voter turnout is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Low voter turnout means fewer voices being heard and representatives that don't truly represent what the people want. It also means more corrupt and incompetent politicians are going to hold office. We need to build a wall. Yeah, but if it's so dangerous, then how come everybody doesn't vote? There are tons of reasons why most people don't vote. They don't even know that you have to register. Also, most people are just lazy. Some people, their candidates aren't on the ballot, or they just don't have the opportunity to go out and vote. Supporters of independents and backstream parties often don't vote. It's because most of the times, only the big parties, the Democrats and Republicans, are on the ballots. And this seriously dissuades them from voting, and this actually is one of the major reasons for low voter turnout. Wait, so not every candidate is on the ballot? Really? To an extent. Most of the time, the candidates don't have enough supporters to get enough votes to actually win anything. Well, only a couple people vote for independence, so how does that explain the low voter turnout? I mean, the principal reasons are because most of the times people don't have time or they're just really lazy to fill out the registration. And actually, one of the most important reasons is because there's voter apathy. They just don't care about politics. can't do much besides educate the young people and tell them why it's important to vote. Although sometimes the elections themselves actually create more of the apathy that we're trying to avoid. There's so many elections in America that most people only vote for the early ones and just don't vote for the bigger ones, the primaries and the presidential elections. 
I think it's important that we either curate the amount of elections or we just get rid of some of the ones which most people don't care about. That's why there was such a low voter turnout in 2016. You're right, C-Pop. There are just way too many excuses for people not voting. I feel like the only problem with people not voting is that the politicians aren't going to get enough votes. No, not voting doesn't only affect one single number. It actually affects uh, how we're represented. It's a poor representation of what the people think and what the people actually want. Not voting for your candidate, not voting for your party, is effectively not voting for what you want in your country. Okay, I think I get it now. So I, I wanna help, what can I do? Well, I have a great idea to connect with the young people. Let's make a music video. I don't know, Bill Clinton, are you sure? Please, I love young people, they're gonna love it too. And this will definitely help get more voter turnout the next election. Lil Ruth on the track. Dishing at the president, with the president. Why am I not on the $20 bill? Shout out Miss Dean, the best gun feature ever. Yo, she's not gonna give us extra points or something. Shut up, stop breaking the fourth wall. I wanna go that vote. I wanna call that skirt too. I wanna beat that bone. I want that civic virtue. Keep our democracy strong, strong. Not weak though. Every citizen should vote. Except Puerto Rico. Vote a day, keep the land sharks away. That's the slogan. Vote a day, keep the land sharks away. Check the rubric. Vote a day, keep the land sharks away. Seriously, Miss Dean, it's right Vote there. Vote a day, keep the land sharks away.